I'm Tammy Briggs, and I'm the author of Women as Healers, Voices of Vibrancy. This is a book about 31 women from around the world who are doing amazing healing work. The book includes artists, nurses, consultants, and authors. And today I'm joined by Judy Berry, who is the CEO of Lakeview Ranch. Many of the women in the book are extremely passionate about what they do, and I think you top that list as a passion broker. I am interested in hearing more about Lakeview Ranch, how you started it, and really what happens here. Okay, thank you for inviting me to be here today, Tammy. Um, I guess to start out with, I'd have to say that um, Lakeview Ranch is a memorial to my mom, who has passed away 16 years ago of vascular dementia. Um, she had spent the last seven years of her life in traditional long-term care and wound up being kicked out of 12 places in seven years and um, in and out of hospital behavior units. I'm curious though, I know you've had a lot of struggles, so can you talk a little bit about some of your most difficult times here? It's been a long journey. <laughs> Lots of things have happened in the process. Um, it took me four years after she died to even get someone that would loan me the money to build a house to try to build a model of care that was appropriate for people who had challenging behavior. As we've gone through this in the first year, we learned that although our mission is to take people of any financial background, we needed to start a foundation, which is the Dementia Care Foundation, um, for the sole purpose to raise funds to pay the difference that the government won't pay in order to appropriately care for this population of people. Um, we've had several other things that have come up, but again, it takes persistence. You can't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. We've had neighbors with lawsuits. We've had people that just didn't understand the concept of what we were trying to do. And um, even when we built our second home, we had to move to a different location because the neighbors wouldn't allow us to build. Throughout this whole thing, um, the good has much, much overweighed. I was the, gonna ask, what are the joys? Because yeah. I, I know when I have played the harp here, mm -hmm. the residents are just such a treasure and joy mm -hmm. to work with. And Well, and the, the biggest joy for me is having experienced what I did with my own mother. The biggest joy is watching the looks on the faces of these people that we've been able to provide care for when most of them have experienced the same things my mother went through with multiple hospitalizations and over medication. And here, we bring them here and within a month, we lower the doses of medications so that they are more in the present and with yep. us. And then we're able to actually communicate with them, even if it's not verbal like we're used to. It can be very um, rewarding to have someone be able to tell you about their life through stories, through pictures, if they can't speak through gestures. Mm -hmm. And yet you have to be open and be able to understand that the real person that's sitting before you is still in there till the day they die. Yeah, and what I see here is that the quality of life is really good until the very end. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in more about Judy's story and the Lakeview Ranch in Darwin and Dassel, Minnesota, you can go to her website at lakeviewranch.com. And if you're interested in the Women as Healers Voices of Vibrancy book, you can purchase it here on womenashealers.com.